Welcome back, everybody. 20 towns in 20 days. Believe it or not, it's coming to a close. And tonight we end our spring road trip in Torrington. Channel 3's Wendell Edwards headed to Litchfield County. 20 towns in 20 days and we are in Torrington today. It was first established as a town way back in 1740, incorporated as a city in 1923. Population today around 36,000 people. It's about 15 minutes from Hartford. And I spoke with the mayor about what makes Torrington so unique. The most famous alum. Most, most famous alum is John Brown, abolitionist John Brown, who was born right here in the city of Torrington. What is the best hidden gem or treasure? All of our recreational opportunities. It's hiking, it's biking, it's fishing, swimming, picnicking. We have four state parks. Best view from Torrington? The mountain laurel blooms on Mountain Road at Indian Lookout. You want to see Stillwater Pond, which is glass-like and reflects the foliage in the skies. You want to head up to Clug Farm, where you can see a panoramic view of the city. What is the one place that defines this town. Our Main Street Historic District. We have the largest cluster of Art Deco buildings in the state. We have our very popular Christmas Village where Santa, his elves and reindeer set up a satellite workshop. What is the place known for in history? We are very proud of our uh, industrial past. Best place for kids to play? Kids Play Museum if you're inside. If you're outside, you need to go to the BMX bike track and our disc golf at Albert Park. Best place to take an Instagram pic? Right here on Franklin Plaza. And our Bad Dog Brewery, which is located in an historic firehouse. And the one adjective you'd use to sum up this town. Beautiful. Another pride and joy here in Torrington is this theater, built by Warner Brothers Film Studio way back in 1931. It seats 1,700 people, and it is a theater that is still in use today. In Torrington, Wendell Edwards, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.